Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and this is my second vlog of my Tokyo trip sponsored by Gamma Labs. Uh, totally appreciative for what those guys have done to me. That's, uh, yeah, the link in the description. Go crash their site or something. Hook them up. But, um... Uh, this is Tokyo. This is Tokyo. So today, me and, and some of the guys went out and got lunch. So so I, I brought the camera along and, yeah, a little bit shaky, brought the camera along and, and captured some of it. Something about public transportation is interesting to me. It's probably not interesting for you guys in Europe or maybe even you guys in some of the bigger U.S. cities. But where I am, it hardly exists, right? There's some buses I suppose you could take somewhere if you wanted to be surrounded by guys who, like, can't afford cars. Wow, is that horrible to say? I'm not quite sure. But if you take uh, the bus in places in the U.S. where public transportation system isn't widely used, it's mostly guys with like DUI convictions and, uh, at least in my area, uh, DUI convictions and, and like, you know, real money issues and drug habits and stuff like that. But um, if you go to where public transportation is widely used, like big cities or other countries, then all sorts of normal people use it and, and, I don't know. It's interesting to me. So we hopped on the train, uh, took it a couple stops in, and we're out on a hunt for souvenirs and food. That's that's what we're up to right here in, in this thing. So uh, the, the whole video is going to be vi video of like people watching and, and such, which I found pretty interesting. One thing that, that caught my attention was um, was the fashion in Japan. Everybody here seems so well put together and and like from top to bottom, right? Like it, it feels awkward to comment on like a nation's hygiene, right? That clearly is inappropriate. But but these guys, everybody was so clean. You look at even the guy's hair and you can tell they've spent some time on their hair, right? This, this, that no one's got any kind of roll out of bed, easy to maintain haircut, except for the three Americans in front of me. I know Joe Lozon didn't spend more than a quarter second on his hairdo today. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, as I look around at the Japanese, I can, everybody is so well put together. You can tell their outfits are coordinated. They've, they've got a, a look they're trying to achieve. And there's a, a lot of uniformity across it, which is probably true in every country. But um, like, I wonder what kind of pressure there is. I, I just have this notion it would be really hard to be like a Japanese guy in school, like as, as a kid, because... Yeah, there's you know certainly a, a look. There's a fashion. There's a coolness. There's there's a, a hierarchical social structure. It's it's evident everywhere I look just how you know sort of socially conscious they seem to be. And in the U.S., while that's still true, there's a a decent amount of you know, like t-shirts and jeans cultural acceptance at least on the guy side that just makes it you know super easy. I mean. It, it, you look at what these three guys are wearing in front of me, the, these Americans. You can tell they probably didn't sweat a ton about what they were going to wear today. They just threw it on, made it weather appropriate, and did their thing. But, um, you know, the accessorizing and such that happens over in Tokyo, anyway, is, is at a whole other level. The food here has been fantastic. I had some sort of green curry Thai food type thing going on. And... Uh, um, and it's a it's a busy city. It's Tokyo. It's we're, I'm, I'm I'm actually here, and I'm kind of excited about that. Today, Joe cut the bulk of his weight. Today, as I record it, um, as you watch this, it's probably weigh in day. So he'll cut a few more pounds, and uh, and then he'll weigh in, and then he'll start rehydrating. They drink Pedialyte, which which, which you give the dehydrated babies, and uh, and they rehydrate with that and and do their thing. He'll make weight at 155, but he'll probably be about 165 on fight day, which is typical, right? This isn't like some tricky thing that Joe is doing. Uh, everybody is in his weight class, rolls around somewhere around 165. Some even are at 170 when they fight. Some guys are notorious for being able to cut a ton of weight, but there's a balance there. It, it, if you guys don't know, the balance is if you cut like I'll make up insane numbers, like 45 pounds to fight, then on fight day, you're going to be exhausted. You're not going to have any wind. Whereas if you don't cut at all, you can be a fitness monster compared to your opponent, but you're going to be much smaller than him because, you know, he's actually a bigger guy fighting down in your weight class. So um, I, I, Joe, to me, is kind of lucky in that, you know, his body type is perfect for 155, and, and that's what he'll do. I really like this matchup he's going to have with Pettis. I can't wait to see the rest of the fight. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There'll be more coming. Oh, and there'll be a Modern Warfare 3 video coming up soon, too.